Hi there, it's Peter here again. You're watching the Scroll Magic 101 free online course for front end developers and designers where you will learn the basics of Scroll Magic API in under 50 minutes. In this video, you will learn how the duration and the trigger hook position affects the timing of your animations. Okay, so for now, let's remove the indent. Our layout is very, very simple. We don't need to indent our triggers and indicators. So let's remove the indent 200. Now everything snaps to the right edge of the browser. And in the previous video, I mentioned that we don't have any ending trigger. Okay, we don't have ending indicator because we don't have a duration. So let's go back to the JavaScript and add duration 300 inside of the object with the scene settings. And now you'll see the ending indicator 300 pixels under the starting one. Okay, we can now customize the color of it. So let's duplicate the color start, change it to color end and change the color of it to, let's say, pink. Okay, this changes the color of the ending indicator and sets the duration of the scenes 300. Okay, so the class is added to the project and then 300 pixels later, it is being removed from it. The duration of the fade in, fade out is still controlled inside of the CSS style sheet. That's where we've got the duration of one second defined. We've set the duration to 300, which means 300 pixels. And that is great if you've got a fixed height elements, but it's not really useful for responsive animations. Luckily, scroll magic has something called responsive duration, and we can change the duration now to 100% and see how it affects the length of the scene, the duration of how long the element has our class. Okay, so 100% means 100% of the viewport height. So the end fade scene is 100% of the viewport height below the starting point. Now let's try to change the position of the trigger hook. Let's go back to the JavaScript and set trigger hook to zero. This will move it to the top of the page and the class will be added to the project when the top of that project element comes to the top of the viewport. This is good when you want to fade out elements before they leave the viewport. But in our example, we want to show the project, fade it in when it reaches the bottom of the viewport. Okay, so let's change the trigger trigger hook to one. And now we'll see it fading in when it reaches the bottom of the viewport. As you can see, by setting it to one, the project has a fade in class straight on a page load. Okay, so no animation is happening because the class is added straight away. So let's change the trigger hook to 0 0.9 and see how it moves slightly, slightly up. This gives us some space to scroll and then trigger the animation. If we scroll down a little bit faster, you will see that the CSS animation is happening. But to have it even more precise, we want to have the top of the image being the trigger element. Okay, so not the project itself because that has a padding. So let's change the trigger element to project 01 IMG and see how it affects the trigger position. Now when I refresh the page, you'll see the start fade scene label jumping down to align with the top of the image. And that's when the animation is triggered, when the green label matches the trigger fade scene. That's when we are adding the class to the project. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now let's try a few other things. Let's try to change the duration to 90, not 900, change it to 90%. And we'll see how long now the project has the class. When we scroll almost the whole height of the viewport, we'll see the ending trigger. Okay, so the project has the class for almost 100% of the viewport height. This is very handy if you want to just add a class to element when it comes to a view 
and remove it just before it leaves the viewport. And as you can see, this works for all the browser sizes. So this is great for responsive animations. We will continue exploring the ScrollMagic API in the following video. But if you want to follow me step by step, simply hop on to my website, sign up for free and download the working files. The link is in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.